Okay, so let's talk now about this particular article that I found, and I want to throw this at you and kind of get your two cents. So this is over on Cointelegraph, the godfather of, and I keep doing this, sorry, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Uh, godfather of AI resigns from Google, warns of the dangers of AI. So Zach, I kind of want your two cents on this. This is a really interesting title. And I think I want to talk about AI in general, but then I want to transition and let's talk about AI crypto as, as kind of a category, as kind of a space. So do you, do you have any concerns, uh, Zach, about AI? I mean, what's your two cents on AI? And then we'll move into kind of the AI crypto space. It's, it's interesting. I think, you know, I think like everything else, it's not as good as it seems. It's not as bad as it seems like, because you have a lot of people in one camp that are like, oh, my gosh, AI is going to just destroy us. Right. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I, I think I think it's very similar to the Internet. Right. I mean, the Internet has a lot of things that are great about it. The Internet has a lot of things that are bad about it or, yeah. or, or that, that, that hurts society. Right. I mean, so, I mean, but I, I'm, I'm more of an optimistic person when it comes to that, because. Yeah, you could say like what social media is doing to kids when the internet and oh my gosh, kids aren't going out and playing, right? But you could also say that, oh my gosh, you could talk to anybody anytime, anywhere in the world. I mean, that interconnectivity, I mean, it's changed the way business is done. It's changed the way relationships yeah. are made, right? So there's, I think there's a lot more benefit there than, than drawback. I think the same thing's going to happen with AI. You know, everybody's freaking out with Elon, like putting a chip in everybody's head, like, <laughs> You're not just going to have to like, somebody's not going to, I hope not. Somebody's not just going to like hold you down and put this chip in your head. Damn it. Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, you're going to have to opt in. Like, so if, if you're a deaf person or something, like you, you might have to put this thing for Neuralink and now you could hear, like, it's going to be yeah. those sort of things. At least that's the way I've understood it. So I guess I'm somewhere in between. I, I mean, it's hard to tell exactly where it's going. I think here's what I do know. The entire economy is going to be, flipped on top of its head even Dude, more so than the internet no flipped. yeah percent. we're already seeing it i mean yeah. cashiers at the grocery store gone uh toll booth workers gone i mean think about all the things in like that kind of you know customer service i mean think any representative i mean half the time you can't get a human on the phone already yeah right there's so so in terms from an economic standpoint it's going to change i mean look at amazon half of an amazon warehouse is robots right I mean, already. Well, and I think the one thing I, before we transition into AI crypto, um, I think the final, final thought on AI is I think honestly, truthfully, the way that AI has been predicted in movies and media for the, for the past two decades or so has got everybody's Terminator has got every, whatever. I mean, insert any movie name here and AI. And so you have, you have that as a baseline you know, part of our subconscious. So like AI is going to kill us all and, and all that kind of stuff. I think that's there. And I, and I don't think that, I think that's part of it. I think that's something that nobody's really talking about, but that's part of it. And the technology is a game changer. I absolutely fundamentally agree. So